Hello and welcome to video number two, the product vendor checklist. In this specific video, I'm going to be talking about what exactly you will need to gather before you put your products onto the digital results platform. So why do you gather it now than later? Well, it's better to know what you need and gather it in advance so you won't have to stop, pause, or forget when you actually set things up. So when I begin to set things up, I'm going to move fast and this should speed the process up faster so you should be able to set everything up quickly and easily. So make sure that you absorb all this information and jot down the product checklist slide as you're going to need this when you set up your product. DigiResults is really, really easy to set up compared to other systems, but I have to say, compared to a lot of other systems, they are pretty good in terms of the instant affiliate system, but in terms of setting it up, it's really easy just because there are some limitations. And we'll talk about more about that in just a minute. So product checklist, this is something that you will need to jot down. I'd say the most important part of this specific video. So these are all things that you need to create first. You need to create the sales page, thank you page, content files, and you're going to need to zip those files up. You're going to need to have the affiliate page. This is optional, but powerful. And I'm going to talk more about this and how to create the affiliate promotional tools later on. And of course, any additional one-time offers or back-end offers will need extra sales pages and extra thank you pages. So in other words, if you're going to add a one-time offer or a back-end offer, you're going to need to have additional pages for these. Let me go over some DigiResults definitions. You're going to need to have your product listing name, basically your product, your product listing category, where your product fits into, the support email, the sales page, and you're going to need to have your own link, a variant, which is basically the price, and your thank you page. And you can have several variants or price points per product. Let's talk about the DigiResults advanced options so you know what to expect and what they provide. Second tier affiliate tracking basically means that, let's say your affiliate promotes a product, they're going to get a commission. But if they refer somebody else who's an affiliate and they make a commission, then that first affiliate will basically make a commission every time the second affiliate makes a commission. So that's what we call second tier affiliate tracking. But be aware that this is only available for one time priced products. This is not available for any type of recurring monthly product. Then we have autoresponder integrations for each product type or variant. So in other words, every time somebody buys the product, you can add them to a list. Direct receipts. This is a advanced option for advanced scripts that detect when a refund or sale is made and affects some sort of account creation process. But of course, we're not going to really cover this in this specific video series unless you're going to use some sort of advanced script you'll need to see uh, DigiResults help uh, database for more information. I'll show you where to get uh, help for this type of advanced options. The next option is called equity partners. Basically this is every time a sale is made, whoever is your equity partner, it could be your business partner who might be earning 50%, or your copywriter who you might have agreed upon that they're going to earn 10% of every single sale or your graphic designer or whomever is going to make a commission off every sale. This is different than an affiliate. Basically, if you have a business partner and you're splitting it 50-50, so let's say a 
$20 sale is made. So if your affiliate has made the sale and they get 50%, then you split the $20 into $10. But the $10, if your equity partner, your business partner, gets an additional 50% and you get 50%, then Digi Results is going to set it. So it's going to pay the affiliate. And then what's left over is $10. So your business partner is going to get the 50%, which is $5. And then you're going to get the $5. So the beauty of all of this is it's all automated and instant. And of course, uh, Digi Results has bridging, which is one of the more advanced options. I'll say that most sites do not have this type of option, which is really good part of Digi Results. But basically, bridging is selling your products on other networks without the worries of changing your other networks. So, for example, if your product is on different affiliate networks, you can actually put it on digital results and bridge it so that if somebody makes a sale on pay.com or JVZoo, it still bridges with digital results and you don't have to worry about taking your product off the other affiliate networks to be compatible and bridge over to digital results. So that's a really cool feature that is part of digital results. Let me talk about the types of payment options by Digi Results. They provide one time payments. So if your front end offer, your back end, your one time offer is a one time payment, they support this. They also support subscription and multiple payments. The only thing that you need to be aware of is that with recurring products, they only have a monthly recurring. So if you want to do like weekly or quarterly, they don't actually have this option. So that's why I was saying it earlier on, there are some limitations. So they only have a monthly recurring and they force you to do a $1 trial for one week, which is required. Then you do an X amount of dollars monthly. So that's just something to be aware of that they force you to do a one week dollar trial multiple payments for high ticket items you can do this as well very very easy to do and you can also set coupon discount codes or even dime sales if needed 